That's a distorted riff. It says Doom sounded. I don't, it's weird. It's <laughs> All right, today I'm checking out High Priest. I'm listening to the song Divinity. Let's get into it. Coming into this song, I was kind of excited just based on the, the band name and the title of the song because there's a whole little theme there. You know what I mean? High Priest singing a song called Divinity. I was like, okay, you know what I mean? That's interesting. But then I'm being told Stoner Rock, Doom Rock. So I'm like, okay, well, it's not going to be like, it's not going to be church music. And so I'm all curious based on that. I thought I was going to be digging into the lyrics mostly, but I'm not. I can hear some of them. I can't hear all of them. I can hear some of them. We're thinking, we're feeling, what we're thinking, what we're feeling, divine and Da, 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 da. But it's really kind of the music, though. It's kind of the music is where my focus is, not the lyrics. I thought it's going to be the lyrics because Divinity and the High Priest, and oh, they probably got some kind of crazy message. And they might. They might, they might. But it's really those distorted, doom-sounding riffs. You know what I mean? I like those things. And ever since I learned what they're called, it just changes how you feel about it. You can like something, and then when you can define it, and I don't know, it just makes it more concrete in your head instead of like, oh, I like that sound. It's like, oh, that's a distorted riff. It's, it's doom sound. It, I don't, it's weird. It's weird when you actually, you gain the words for something. It, it changes your relationship with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, know, I don't know how to describe that. It just makes you feel more comfortable, more confident with it. I get kind of excited when stuff comes on. I, you know, recently learned the, the actual terminology for it. It's like, dang, maybe it's part of that too, getting excited. Oh, I can describe this.
Now the lyrics, I am just curious because with a name like Divinity, what are we talking about? Maybe someone literally, you know, God or something like, hey, hey, resignate, wide open, fill the light, I think, right? You know, maybe light is some kind of symbolism for God or something. I was thinking like maybe it'll be the divinity of music. You know what I'm saying? Music's kind of a divine thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a man-made thing. It's it's divine. You know, music has always been here, always will be. Even animals sing. The birds chirp and sing. Thought it may have been something like that. I don't know. But that song was extremely easy to catch the vibe. I even caught one of the transitions at the end during the guitar solo when it transitioned. You see the head nod? Nah, that's me predicting. Me predicting, oh, this is about to transition or a beat's about to drop, boom. That's not I do that. You know what I mean? But I caught one. Not all of them. It's like, yeah, I'm in the flow. I'm in the flow enough to where I can hear the transition coming. Boom. Nailed it kind of thing. But yeah. Easy song to vibe to with distorted riffs and they sounding all doom and whatnot. It's like, you know, language kind of shapes how you feel. And so I feel like once I get the language to define something, it, it helps solidify the feelings. You know what I mean? Like you don't have certain words and you can't really, it's hard to express that or know those feelings. Like different languages have different words for love and you feel different things. It's like that. But that's why I like picking up the vocabulary to really be, be able to express and feel something. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? Yeah, my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know.